How's it going guys? Today's video is going to be a bit different from my normal ones and essentially in this video I'm going to be hopefully showing you how to extend the wheelbase on an FTX Texan also known as the RGT Crusher. Um, hopefully it should be pretty simple. Um, I've seen other people that have done it but I've never seen someone show how to do it so I'm going to show you what parts that you need uh, what parts I think you might need uh, I'm not sure yet until I get down to it and figure it out but I've got everything that I think that I need and um, yeah it's not going to be a high quality video like some of the other YouTubers you see but hopefully you should be able to figure out what needs doing um, so yeah I'm just going to show you the car first and go through things step by step and hopefully we'll be able to extend the wheelbase now the reason you might want to do this is um, this has the same chassis, uh, so it's the same platform as the FTX High Rock and FTX Geo. Um, a longer wheelbase will give the car more stability and make it easier to climb steeper stuff, which is what I want it for. Um, and also, say now you wanted to change to a different chassis. Uh, no, not a different chassis, a different body. Um, there aren't many bodies that fit this shorter wheelbase, but there are plenty of bodies that fit the normal 313mm wheelbase. So say now you did want to change to a different uh, body that would fit onto the other cars, or a more conventional wheelbase length car, um, this will let you do that. I'm going to keep this shell, but I just want the longer wheelbase for stability and stuff. So I'll show you the car. Um, show you before it's extended, show you what it needs doing, and then show you after it's extended. So here are the parts that you're going to need. Uh, what I did was I went on the Model Sport website. I found if you go to their website, you can click on um, you can click on a car, and then you'll be able to find spare parts for it. So I went to the FTX Geo. And then these are the FTX Fury upper links, FTX Fury lower links. This is the long CBD for the FTX Texan, same as you have on the front of the car. Um, so you'll need that so that you can actually reach the axle uh, once you've extended it. And you might need these, but I'm not 100% sure yet. But these are the FTX Fury front and rear shock body mounts. Um, I'm thinking you could keep the cantilever suspension on there, but you'd need longer links to connect them. I might have some somewhere, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'll just keep that there. You can pause and search the parts if you want to get them. I have the codes for all the parts up here on each one so you can pause if you need to. Excuse the mess of the tools, so I'm working on the stairs because I'm at my mum's this morning. Um, just as a comparison, I've got a wing of one of my cars here just so you can see. Basically reaches from the back of the front tyre to the front of the rear tyre. So first thing we're going to do is take the shell off which needs cleaning <laughs> and take the rear wheels off so I'll do that and then I'll get back to you guys okay so now we have the wheels removed first thing I'm going to do is remove this shaft there are two um, grub screws holding it in one here on that collar and another there on that collar and then I'm going to disconnect these links top and bottom and then we'll see where we go from there. So here you can see I have all the links removed now. Um, I've left the suspension how it is for now because I haven't decided what I'm doing with it yet. So I'm just going to get the links on. You can see the old links here compared to the new links. So I'm just going to get these on and then I'll get back to you guys and we'll figure out what we're going to do. Right, so we've got all these new links on. Um, one thing that did kind of not go right was this 
uh, drive shaft was too long. It was about 10 to 20 mils too long. So what I've actually ended up doing is taking the piston end of that new shaft out and putting the piston end from the old shaft in and now it fits and has plenty of room, it doesn't restrict anything. So you can use the front drive shaft from one of these but you're going to have to mix and match from your old drive shaft to get it to work unless you want to cut that down or find a shaft that works. Um, I just bought the front one for the Texan specifically thinking it would fit. FTX Texan long CVD drive axle. So if you get the Geo, if you get one specifically made for the Geo slash Hyrox slash Fury, then it might fit directly, but I don't know if you can see there, but it was too long with that piston there. So um, yeah, I've managed to get it to work. I do, however, need to fix this part of the CVD, zoom in, because that pin's coming out, so I just need to reseat that pin and get that spring cover over it to fit. And then the suspension is not going to work in the cantilever way, so I'm going to have to put these shock mounts on the rear, and it's just going to be normal straight up and down uh, suspension like you get on most cars and crawlers. So yeah, I'm going to sort this out first and then get these mounted up and show you guys how it looks. So this is how we've ended up. I actually directly mounted the top of the shocks to the chassis, put this spacer in the middle there. Um, the bottom of the shock is mounted on the top mount there and the lower link on the lower mount there. Um, I'm just gonna throw the wheels back on and we'll have a look, see how it sits. So I didn't actually end up using these, but what you could do is, if you did mount these up here, you could have it sitting much lower, obviously with the shock connected up here instead of down there. So, uh, yeah, I'll just see how it sits and if it's really bad, then I might Put this on and uh, mount it up so it's sits lower but we'll back, stick back, uh, back. the wheels back on and see how it looks so there we go everything's back on apart from the shell uh, it doesn't look like it's sitting any higher than it was before at the rear maybe slightly but i don't mind having a bit of rake because it'll help for going uphill climbing up stuff just as an example i had that there so you can see it's added quite a bit of wheelbase to it. So whether you want more stability or you just want to be able to fit a normal size shell, this has uh, definitely worked. So I'm going to stick the shell on and then get a couple of pictures slash videos to see how it looks. I'm happy with that. And it was all done really cheaply as well. So there we go, got the shell back on. And uh, I think it looks awesome. The only thing that I kind of need now is a new front bumper to replace the broken one. And then this is going to be back exactly how I want it. So you can see we've got that longer wheelbase. So if I wanted to, I could put a completely different uh, shell on there. Everything is turning freely as it should apart from it rubbing on the stairs there but um, yeah I think that looks awesome just uh, need to take it out for a test run so uh, yeah I, uh, I know I didn't film this very well and didn't show me actually changing the parts but um, hopefully for anyone that wants to do this you can understand what I was trying to say and if not just comment and I'll uh, try and help you as much as I can alright Nice one, guys. Peace. Oh, yeah. Thank you for watching. Please like and comment and subscribe now.